And um, everyone mute yourselves. Michelle's in charge. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to adjust my other camera. Yesterday I thought that I had my camera on and I didn't. So, all right, let's just get started with a little light jog. Like you don't want to jog, you're gonna march. You can just kick your heels up to your butt. Just start yourself getting a little bit warmer. I'm, I'm a little bit warm because I warmed up. <laughs> all right, so just a nice easy jog. Pump the arms if you can. Kick your heels up to your butt if you can. Lean a little bit forward. Just start to work on getting the hamstrings warmed up. And then lift your knees up to your opposite elbow. You can make it fast knees or just this nice rotational knee up. As Andy says, she's glad to see me bringing back jazzercise all by myself. Four, three, two, let's go to a squat. Weight back to your heels. Don't make it your best squat yet. Just make it something that bends hips, knees, and ankles and gets us a little bit warm. We have, um, you want to see my legs? <laughs> They're the least interesting part about me. <laughs> Here, let me pull this up a little bit higher. There you go. All right, Maria? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> I don't ever want to see my legs. This, um, you know, the fact that we all have bike shorts again just blows my mind because it's one of the least attractive looks in the world. Three more, two more, one more. Step your feet wide. This we'll be doing in class, run, lunging side to side. So roll your shoulders back and around. I like to try to hit the movements that we're gonna hit when we're in the class as well. Feel free to add your own music in. If you don't know what to play, um, I can give you some suggestions. Three, two, one, hold it to your left side. Just hold a nice long side stretch. Stick your butt back. We're gonna pivot around to the left side. Tuck the tailbone underneath you, bend that knee, and take your arms and scoop it out. Keep pushing that back leg forward. Get into the psoas, the hip flexors, and then straighten it out. Reach the arms up overhead, and then bring your arms behind your back. Knuckles down, chest is up. Stretching, 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 opening. Good, release your hands to your thighs. Pivot back to the front, take it over to the other side. Hold the stretch. Just get a nice long stretch on that left leg. Pivot around to the right side. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Fit, uh, fix the lacing of your hands, one over. Round your spine. Pull the belly in. Good, then stretch it up, arms up. Whoops. Hold. Bring your arms behind your back and place your fingers one over. Knuckles down, chest up. Good. Hands back on your thigh. Pivot back to the front, hands on both thighs. Pull the belly in, cat and cow. Reach and release. Tuck that tailbone underneath you. Arch your back, round your back. Roll all the way up through your spine. Take a big breath in, bring your arms up. Let's just do a side bend to the right side. Inhale up and over to the other side. Uh, come back to center. Roll your shoulders around. Heel toe your feet together. First exercise. I'll give you all variations that I can think of. Um, if you need modifications, if um, you would like to change it up, okay? So the first one is we're gonna hold a one weight in our hand. You can hold the other hand for weight as, as well, but we're only gonna be using one arm. So we're gonna lunge back with a knee bend, and that means we're gonna also reach forward. So I'm gonna kind of reach forward. When I come back up, I'm gonna lift my knee, maybe, and come back. So it's a lunge, knee lift, shoulder press, one arm. Same thing on the other side. Uh, then we're just gonna hold our knee up and do bicep curls and then a row and a kick back, easy enough to explain while we're into the class. So go ahead and grab weight. If you want to, again, you can load the weight into both arms, but we're only gonna be lifting with one of them on the first set. So the right leg, let's have the right leg move back. It's a knee bend lunge and a slight lean forward in your torso, all right? So let's try a couple on the right side first. Let's go. Right side down, knee up, press one and down. So it's, it's a combination of a reach and a, uh, and a lunge. Three, bend down. Four, if you're holding the weight in the left hand, you're gonna feel a little bit uneven. That's okay, your core will work. 
six, release, seven, three more, eight, nine, remember, bend and hinge at the hips, one more, 10, up, okay. So um, make sure you've got that hinge in your hip. You're not just working from your back. All right, left leg goes back in three, two, go. Down, one. The first couple of movements you might feel in balance. I did say I was gonna tell you if you're not gonna do this, Deb. So if you wanna step back, step in and lift up, that's what you could do, so sorry. Four, up, five, up, six, drive into that front heel, seven, up, eight, up, nine, one more ladies, and gents if you're out there, 10, good. All right, it's so darn muggy, I gotta wipe down. Two hands, bicep curls. Adjust the weights if you need it, because we're gonna be standing on one leg, all right? So, oh, I didn't hear from Patrice. We're missing Patrice, okay. Weight in your left leg, right knee lifts. Take your arms and curl for 10, nine, eight, seven. If you have to touch down, Touch down. Five, four, three, two, one more. One, good. So we're working on some balance stuff today. All right, we're throwing it in there with some weights which takes us totally in balance so your core gets to really fire up a little bit more than if we're just standing there. Weight in the right leg, left leg lifts. Remember, you can just touch your toe to the floor if that's what you want. Three, two, go. Curl, 12, uh, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So with the balance, legs doesn't have to be high, just off the floor. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. It's okay, by the way, to have recovery in between exercises. Sometimes it's vital. Um, we want to make sure that we can come back and do a, a good full set on the next set. All right, so pick up your weights again. It's a row, big arm, and triceps. So you might have to go to a moderate weight if your triceps are not quite as strong as your big rowing muscles are. All right, knees bent, chest up, hips back. Let's row one and kick back. Good. Row, kick back two. That's it. Three, bend those knees. Four. Five, make sure you're not swinging from your shoulders. The shoulders are stable. Six, I think I get one more. Seven. Eight. Just two more, please. Nine, one more, 10, and rest. All right, so we've got two sets of everything. I think we'll just go through the second set now rather than come back and repeat the whole thing. So we're gonna take it back to that lunge. I'm gonna give you a few seconds of recovery time. Right leg lunge, up, remember it's that reach. So my knees are bent. My hips are back. It's a lunge reach, right? Sometimes we reach with a straight leg in the back. This is a bent knee, all right? Why do I look so far away? Uh, I don't know. This is where I always am. <laughs> I'll come closer, I'll, I'll come closer. Why don't you go on, the, um, go on the, don't go on the gallery view. Go on the speaker view, or whatever the other option is, all right? You should see me more full, fully that way. Yes? No? All right, weight in your right hand. Right leg back in three, two, go. One, lift up. Two, 
up, three. So my other arm is counterbalancing me, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10, and down. Good. All right. Sometimes that second time around feels a little bit better. Body gets kind of used to the feeling, the movement. Left leg in three, two, go. One, press up. Two, press up. Remember, if you're not stepping back, you could just do the hinge, or you don't even have to do the hinge. Four, five, six, seven, sometimes we fall over, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. Balancing biceps. So your hands can be palms in and rotate, palms up. You can do hammers, but we're going to do some hammers later. All right, so whatever you want to do, just try to balance and just notice the difference from standing there with two feet on the floor. Right leg's going to come in the air. Three, two, let's go. Curl. Ten, whoops, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Take a short break. Weight in the right leg. Balancing on it. You might notice one side is easier to balance on than the other. Three, two, go for ten. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, good, three, two, one. You know that every time you take a step forward, you're balancing. That's why it's important to work on the balance. One of the reasons. All right? Every time you get in and out of a chair. All righty. Bent over row and kick back. Last time we do this one. Knees bent, chest up, hips back. As close to parallel to the, tor the floor with the torso as you can. In three, two, pull back, one. Good, back, two, back, three, four. You got this. Don't trap up, leave your shoulder blades down. Halfway, five, Four, three, two, good job. One more. One, and down. Great, guys. Good job. On to our second set. Maybe not so much that you're going to like. It's a squat and a snatch, meaning we're going to draw that weight straight up so it's not a clean and press. It's straight up overhead, and you've really got to force your arm, don't lock out your joints, but force your arm there to be really stable so that arm stays up there and doesn't wobble all around. Right side 10, left side 10. Then we're gonna get on our knees, except Karen, maybe you're not gonna get on your knees for hammer curls. And then we've got another exercise that's fairly self-explanatory. So it's one arm again, Armageddon. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. I feel like that's what it is. All right, so right side snatch with a squat. The hips will help you to pull that arm up over your shoulder. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Down, one, good, two, three. So you don't have to do the full squat, but you do wanna let your hips help you, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10. Good, so when that arm is overhead, you gotta have a nice, strong, stable shoulder joint to hold on to it, right? So that's what we're building up to. If your weight is light now, good. You'll start to increase it at some point. Um, this is also, by the way, the way I rehab my torn rotator cuff, but I'm not marketing it as that, uh, but it did help. In three on the other side, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tons of core here, 10. All right, if you have your mat nearby, if you're not kneeling, then stay upright. It's just a kneeling hammer curl. You can have both knees down. You could have just one knee down. It's up to you, all right? So we're not allowing for a lot of hip movement to help us here. We only got 10 of them, so it's okay. Come up to your knees, tuck your toes if you're sitting on your knees. If you're staying upright, just um, stay upright. Little forward fold uh, or forward tilt of the pelvis. Actually, it's not of the pelvis, but of the torso. All right, 10 hammers in three. Two, let's go. 10, I don't want to see you swinging. Two, three, really engage through your pelvic floor, four core muscles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. All right. So, move your mat away. Keep it nearby because we have a second set. I'm gonna get a lighter set of weights. Our next exercise is a rear, I'm sorry, a rear delt to a standing side raise. So they look like the same exercise, except we come from a forward fold or a, a, a tilt and a standing up position. All right, so I'm gonna grab me some lighter weights. I can come a little closer so Randy can see me and you can all see my t-shirt which will only make sense to you if you either have daughters or you've watched Game of Thrones. Okay, bend over, three, two, let's go. One, up, two, up, good. Three, rise up, four, up, five, Six, so again, two different exercises, two different muscles. Seven, if you feel it in your neck, let your chin come to your chest. Eight, nine, one more, 10, and up, good. Nice job. Right down, grab some water in between the set. First set, second set. We go back to the, uh, the snatch. Now, if you have maybe a little heavier weight, try it. Because this part's momentum, but it'll help to strengthen here when we get there. All right? Five more seconds, pick up one weight. Get your hips down low. If you're not using your squat, just get that little thrust through the back body to get the weight up overhead. In three, right arm first, two, go. One, snatch it up. Two, three, notice where my left hand is, it's off my body. Four, giving me a little counterbalance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Try not to bend so forward with your torso. Remember it's a squat, so our shoulders stay kind of over our hips as best we can. Other side in three, two, go. One. So the angle of my torso really isn't changing. I'm not doing this. Right, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Good job. All right. I'm going to take it down to my knees just for a few moments. Two weights. Hammer time. Don't swing your arms or anything else. Stay stable, tuck those toes underneath you. Get ready. In three, two, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. One, good. All right. You will need your mat soon, so keep it nearby. You know, it's one of your best friends. Lighter weight, perhaps. Rear delt, side raise. All right, so we're bent over, then we're standing up. Good, here we go. Three, two, go. One, and up. Two, up, three. Make sure if you feel tension in your neck, you just let your chin come down. Five, up, six, good. Ooh, just got bitten. Seven, still got my mosquito stuff. Eight, nine, one more. 10, and relax. Good job. All right. Clear your space so you have a long space side to side. All right. We're going to be doing side to side lunging like we did in our warm up with a heavy weight tricep overhead. All right. Just that. It's. Uh, it's one per side move, just listen to my counts for that. All right? Um, then we're gonna take a heavy weight, do a upright row, chest press, and push down. In, out, and down, and then easy stuff. All right? So, one heavy weight, whatever that means to you, maybe two lighter weights. Take it in your hands, step yourself into as wide a stance as you can accommodate in your space without being into a split. Take your arms over your head, bend your elbows, moving to the right side first. In three, two, we go. One, up, two, up, three, keep going, four, five, six, good work, seven, eight, nine, we're gonna hold it center, 10, Right here, take it for 10, 9, 8, 7, elbows forward, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Put it down. Maybe you have a heavier weight that you want to use. I think I'm going to grab one. Oh, that's not. Okay. So, you're gonna hold on to the caps of the bells, right? Unless again, you wanna use two weights, that's up to you. We're gonna bring our arms up, press out, and bring our arms down. All right, so it's two exercises per count. In three, two, one, press, down. Two, press. Three, go away, thunder. Four, Five, six, seven, eight, elbows out, nine, one more, ten, and down. Good. Grab some light weights. Light can be anything. Two, three, five, could be eight or ten for some of us, or for some of you. All right. We're going to come into a wide sumo or a wide plie and all we're going to be doing is crawling
cross punches, which is across the body, all right? So get into your white stance, bend your knees, don't move your hips, keep them steady, so sit low, arms up at your chest, in three, two, just punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, cross that body, go, 10, nine, sit lower, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Easy peasy, all right? Second set, we're going back to our side to side lunges with the overhead tricep. One heavy weight if you can. Any other accommodations for weights are fine, all right? So we start with the side to side lunge. I've got to find a place where I don't have things hanging down. Step out wide, elbows bent. Let's start to the left side this time in three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, don't arch back, nine, stay on 10, good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, Pull your shoulders around. Shake it out, shake it out. Um, after the next two exercises, we're gonna go back down to the floor. So, we're getting into the home stretch. Not really, we're about halfway through. All right, one heavy weight. It's kind of an upright row, so your elbows are higher than your shoulders, um, but you're only going chest height, and then we're pressing out. So hold on to the caps of the bells. Knees are bent. Three, tuck that tailbone. Two, one, one, out. Two, three, you got this, four, five, six, seven, shoulders be feeling it, eight, nine, one more, 10, and down. So I call it a chest press, but in reality it's really shoulders when we're standing. If we were on the floor and we were working against gravity, it would really be a chest press. But here, it's the action of the chest press. All right, get your lighter weights. Maybe you felt that the ones you took last time were too light or too heavy, so feel free to adjust it. Take your toes out. You're in a wide plie squat, um, wider than a sumo, really. Drop your seat down. Keep that staying stable. Tuck your tailbone, arms up. Punching in three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Go ten, nine, hips stay steady. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Grab some water. Grab your mat and your towel. Take it to the floor. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna take my mat this way, I think. I'm gonna stay facing you. The first one, you're not gonna like so much. Um, grab a moderate to heavy weight. You're gonna have one weight in each hand. We're gonna come into, now this is optional, all right? So if you need to be on your knees, you can be on your knees. Or, Karen, if you don't want to be on your knees and you don't want to um, do the hovering one that I'm doing, you can go into a plank. So it's kind of like a renegade row, but we're in this um, hovering tabletop position. So your knees are here off the floor and you're just rowing side to side, all right? We're trying not to wiggle the hips too much um, so your knees can be wider than you would traditionally be. All right, we'll do that, and then I'll get you into the next exercise. Um, it's easy enough to explain. All right, so.
so accommodate wider hips so you have less wobble you can stay on your knees you can hover your knees you can be in a plank you can stand up and do single arm rows or kneel and do single arm rows okay there's so many options you can't say you can't do it there's always something we can accommodate for you all right so holler if you can't um, figure it out for yourself tuck your toes underneath you engage your core muscles that is vital three two just ten go one two three four five knees are low six seven eight nine ten all right get the sucky ones out of the way <laughs> move your way your weights out of the way we're coming on to our forearms for a dolphin push-up so you stay on your forearms your hips are up in a down dog and you shift your weight forward towards your hands and that's all it is a lot of core stabilizing us in the center here all right so come onto your forearms palms together squeeze your elbows in close together lift your knees up tuck your toes hips up you're in a dolphin dog dolphin downward dog dolphin all right come forward in three two go one two three keep your body nice and stable four don't let your belly drop five six seven eight nine ten and you're done all right dolphin push-ups those are really good to strengthen your shoulders so that when you want to go into headstands and things like that you've got some good stability there all right, so your hands can be on weights. Next is a wide arm push-up. There's only 10 of them. Okay, a wide arm, not a tricep push-up. So maybe even wider than your mats. Knees can be down. Anything you can do, there's only 10 of them. Or maybe there's, oh my God, there's 10 of them. All right, so shift your shoulders over your wrists. Three, two, go. 10, nine, tuck your toes if you're on the floor. Eight, seven, head. To tailbone same line five four three two one sit back and stretch how many of you at home we've been home for like what four months and some of us have limited weights I know but how many of you have been consistent a lot of you have been consistent with me and feel that you're actually getting stronger. And if we could find some heavier weights, you'd actually benefit from it, right? So what we're doing here, three days a week, two days, whatever you can get into, is um, really, really beneficial for you. And strength, also what we're doing for our minds here. That was just to take you off of what we're doing next, which is the hovering tabletops. So tuck your toes underneath you. Lift your knees up, not too high, but remember, you can have your legs wider, so you can accommodate that wobbling through your hips. All right, here we go in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Move them off to the side. Whew. Dolphin push ups, forearms. Right? So get down to your forearms. Clasp your hands together. What I like to do for my forearms in, in yoga, so you can do the same thing here. Reach your hands to the opposite elbow. That way we know we're going to kind of keep a good positioning. Hands together. Knees are on the floor, toes tuck. Hips come up. In three, two, go. Shift forward. One, two, three. Four. Try to get your body parallel to the floor. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And down. Good. All right. Wide arm push-ups. So maybe wider than your wider than your shoulders can be. Wider than your mat, but not too far out. Right. It puts a little bit too much stress on the shoulders.
but it doesn't need to be a chaturanga or a diamond push-up close grip. All right, on your knees, if you're going on your knees, shift forward so your shoulders are over your wrists in three, two, go. 10, nine, I don't care if you don't go all the way down, I'm not, because as I said earlier, I do have a ton of tear cup. Five, five more, four, three, that really is affected by push-ups, and one, sit back and stretch. Whew. All right. So one more, not too sucky exercise, but <laughs> not your favorite probably. Take one of your weights, doesn't matter how much it weighs, right in the middle of your mat, right in the middle of your two shoulders and two hips. We're gonna get into a plank, and again, you could be on your knees. You can still be in that hovering tabletop or straight leg, and all you're gonna do is tap the weight. All right, so we're going to take our legs wider if we need to, to accommodate the wiggle, all right? Then I'll get you onto your backs and we'll go over a couple of those exercises. Are you ready? How are we doing? Working great, good time today, guys. Sometimes our workouts are shorter, but they get a lot more in, uh, depending on what we're doing uh, for the day. So, separate your hands, separate your knees, tuck your toes, Come up and really, really think, don't, don't be vain and don't have your ego involved here. If your legs need to be really wide off the mat, so what, okay? So lift up your knees, lift up your arms, move your feet, hold it stable, three, two, one, tap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. All right, I'm gonna change the position of my mat so you can see me better. Stay where you are, it's fine. All right, I always want to make sure Maria sees me. I'm gonna go this way. So the first exercise on our back will be, I think you can see me, Maria, yeah? Yes, I think you can see me. All right, the first exercise is elbow to knee, hand to foot, that's one. All right, elbow to knee, hand to foot. So the leg comes down and up with each count. 10 on the right side, 10 on the left side. On your back, hands behind your head. Left leg is out straight or bent if you need it bent. Right leg is in the air, over the hip, not over the belly or over the chest. In three, two, go. Elbow to knee, hand to foot, one. Elbow to knee, hand to foot, two. Elbow to knee. You can bring the leg down to the floor each time, like this, five. Or just keep it up, six. Elbow, seven. In, eight. Breathe, nine. One more is 10. On your back, hug your knees in. If you feel the need to take a little twist, I like to, Take that little twist sometimes right after. I don't know, feels really good to me. Right leg on the floor, bent if you need it. Hands behind your head, left leg is up. In three, two, go. One, up, two, up, three, up. Really reach outside your leg. Four, breathe, five, reach for that foot. Six, in, seven, in, eight, two more sets, nine, or reps, ten, coming up, and up, hug your knees to your chest, take that little twist if it feels good to me too, whatever you want to do, all right, so this one is, um, not hard, just you have to maybe think about it if you've never really done it before. It's a bicycle with a crunch. So um, it's like walking and chewing gum and doing all this kind of stuff. So we're gonna crunch and the legs are gonna bicycle, but we're not twisting side to side. All right, so it's just a bicycle pump leg and it's a crunch in the center. 
You don't have to sit all the way up. You can just do a small little crunch. Support your head with your hands, but don't move your neck. Legs up in the air over your hips. In three, two, go. One, two, three, four. So the legs just kind of glide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Don't forget to breathe. Four, three, two, one. Knees in. Stretch your arms up, maybe your legs out. I don't have all that space. Reach, 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 reach. And then come on back up to your hands and knees. Take that one weight in the middle of your mat. And I'll be facing to the side on this one. Smack dab in the middle of your mat. Legs are wider if you can, uh, if you need to accommodate more or less movement, really. All right? So hands on the floor, toes tucked. Remember, you can just stay right here. There is nothing wrong with what this is on your knees. If you need to accommodate that, um, it's still going to get you working in that core because you're staying nice and stable everywhere else. All right, toes tucked, hips up in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy peasy. All right, on your back, bicycle and straight leg, one leg at a time. Reach really outside that leg, so reach outside the corner of your right ankle. All right, on your back, hands behind your head, left leg is out straight or bent if you need it. Right knee is up in three, two, go, one, up, two, up, three, don't forget to breathe, four, up, five, my knee is bent because I do have a little um, lower back issue, seven, so it's okay if that right leg keeps a little bend in it, two more times, nine, one more time, is ten, and up, good. So I just, I need to keep that knee bent a little bit more from my back, which is probably why I want to stretch this way. Ah, uh, never. Okay, left side, left leg up, right leg out, three, two, go. One, reach, two, reach, three, don't forget to breathe, it's four, up, five, Reach halfway. Six, seven, eight. I see legs going all over the place. Nine, looking good. One more is ten. Up. Good. Hug those knees in. Take that twist if you need it. The last one is bicycles with a crunch. So the legs are doing bicycle legs and the torso is lifting up into a crunch. Try to keep your knees over your hips, not over your belly, right? Try to keep them out here even when they come back, especially when they come back. Hands behind the head, head and shoulders lift. Three, two, go. One, two, three. Oh, I'm forgetting the crunch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, good job, guys. All right. All right, all right, all right. A little bonus round of bridges, because I know you all love your bridges. So go ahead and grab one heavy weight, or not at all. I'm okay if you don't use a weight. So the weight can be on your pelvis, 
or if you want just over your shoulders, over your chest, or you don't have to have any weight at all, all right? Heels in line with your sitting bones. Weight is wherever you choose to place it. So right now, I want the knees in line with the hips. Don't let the knees rock in or knock in. Keep them in a, a fairly hip neutral position. All right, now tilt your pelvis. Listen carefully. Just lift your buttocks off the floor, not your back, all right? So really scoop out your belly and lift your tush off. And then lower your tush down one. Lift and squeeze, that's two. Really make it active. Three, good, draw your belly to your spine, four. Keep it going, five. Six, when we get to 10, we're gonna change it. Seven, but I want you to feel the action of the back pressing into the floor. Nine, now I want you to lift up in 10, hold it here. Now peel your spine off the floor and articulate down one. Lift up, articulate down two. Up and three. So when I say articulate, we articulate both ways. We come up from the bottom, we go lower, mid, upper, and then upper, mid, lower. Halfway there, five more. Four, three. When we get to one, we're gonna stay up at the top. Two, and one, hold it up. Now lift a little higher and give me some pulses here of your hips. Nine, eight, seven, push your big toes down. Five, four, three. Isometric hold at the top, tuck your knees together and open out. Two, three, four, five, touch your knees. Six, seven, eight, nine, hold your knees together, lift your hips up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, isometric hold, walk your feet together, hips up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, no droopy spines, four, three, two, one, hold, open up your knees, give me 10 here, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, lower your hips, good, lift your hips for 10, down, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, last one, hold, open up your feet, hold, Right leg in the air, push through that left heel, hold, three, two, right foot down, adjust, left leg up, hold, three, two, both feet down, lift a little higher, lift a little higher, lift a little higher, and articulate all the way down, place that weight off to the side. I know, I know some of you, so I heard some fetching going on there. Hug your knees into your chest. Right leg over left, rib, ankle, shins, or toes. And just pull your heels to your buttocks. You should feel nice, deep, right side, glute stretch. Keep your right leg crossed over. Open your arms and let your knees fall to the left side first. You might get, like I just got, a little snap, crackle pop. As long as there's no pain associated with it, we're good. In Come back to the center and cross the right leg. Separate your legs. Come into your butterfly pose. I was going to give you a yoga pose, but they're not in yoga, so I will just call it an open leg butterfly pose. And then draw your knees together. Hug them up. Left over right. Grab ankle, shins, or toes. Pull your heels to your buttocks. Best part of working out, best part of waking up. Open up your arms, move your hips over, and let the knees fall to the right side. So you, you did some good work on your balancing today. Obviously strength, power, core. Lots of good shoulder stability exercises today. Uncross your legs, come back to that butterfly position. This time take your arms up overhead and grab opposite elbows and just open up the front of your chest and shoulders. While you're there, just switch the cross of your arms.
and then release your hands and bring your knees to your chest, round and curl. Come into it like a little ball. And then like a karate is rolling like a ball, just start to move back and forth a couple times until you have enough momentum to come up into a standing. I'm gonna move over, forward fold. Arms behind your back again, palms together, knuckles up away from you. And your head down. Chin to chest. Roll up slowly. Arms come up overhead. Interlace your fingers, palms up. Lean to the right side. Lean to the left side. Oh, back to center. Big breath in, everybody. And you guys, exhale. Stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.